हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार होप यू आर ऑल हेल्दी एंड सेफ माय नेम इज मुदिता बंसल एंड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ टीसीएस आई ऑन डायरेक्ट आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वेबिनार ऑन द टॉपिक करियर गाइडेंस फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज सो सिविल सर्विसेज इज वन ऑफ द प्रीमियर सर्विसेज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज वन ऑफ द प्रेस्टिजियस एंड पॉपुलर करियर चॉइसेज ऑल्सो अमंग मेनी एस्पिरेंट्स प्रेफरिंग टू मेक अ करियर इन द गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर what makes it a popular career choice is the fact that along with the monetary compensation the job of a civil services officer offers several perks and privileges that no other job can offer par in job roles ko paane ke liye sabse important kya hota hai competitive exams ko crack karna samajhne ke liye ki ye kaise karna hai we have invited a very special guest today mr virendra ojha mr virendra ojha is an ias officer of 1993 batch and he is posted as the commissioner of income tax at amdavad besides working for government of india he is also running a venture with the name of mark darshan to help under privileged aspirants to crack civil services exams with this initiative he is taking regular lectures on youtube channel with the name online ias class by virendra ojha His YouTube channel has around 800 video lectures as of now. Zada se zada students ki help karne ke liye Virendra sir ne Allahabad Vishwavidyalay Parivar naam se ek Facebook page bhi shuru kiya hai jahan par wo students ko civil services aur judicial services exams ke liye guide karte hain aur classes bhi lete hain. A center in the name of Mark Darshan is also operational in Allahabad where library facility learned faculty important facilities like internet and ac are being provided to help the aspirants bachche wahan baith ke comfortably padh sakte hain aur apni taiyari puri ekagrata ke sath kar sakte hain mr virendra ojha is also a writer by passion he has written a book kuch shabd mere a collection of his poems in 2018 also his novel alaba diary is soon to get published what more mr virendra ojha is also passionate about running for physical fitness he has run a number of half marathons and full marathons in various cities of india and abroad 2014 15 mein he ran 12 hours continuously on independence day 2017 18 mein he ran 87 kilometers on the hilly course from durban to peach maritzburg winning a bronze medal Wow, what a variety in your accomplishments, sir! It's a pleasure to have you here. So, sir, शुरुआत से शुरू करते हैं. Civil services में क्या career options, क्या avenues हैं, और इन exams के लिए educational qualification क्या होनी चाहिए? The educational qualification of this exam is the simple BA degree, BA, BSc, BCom, BTech, MBBS, graduation degree. Age is the twenty one years to thirty two years, and the six attempts is being given to you. and the career option if you see the ias the top post is the cabinet secretary besides that all the department secretary joint secretaries post hold by them the joint secretary is very important assignment in the government of india most of the decision making parts uh, go through there suppose you are not getting ias you are going to ips then you have become the director general and director general or parliamentary forces you are coming in the income tax you are the chairman center of board board, board taxes you control the entire economic structure with respect to tax rate is concerned therefore as far as career is concerned you reach up to level of special secretary and secretary depending upon the age in which you are going to appear if you are you are, if you are uh, entering the service a bit early age you have a more career option because the length of service is also important in this examination as far as the career option is concerned it is a very fantastic career option you decide a lot of important things for the countries if you are going to foreign service you are a foreign diplomat you are you are instrumental to make a good relationship with india and the foreign nations इंकम टैक्स 
your scale is quite good the initial salary you get around 65 to 70000 rupees and your maximum scale is 80000 basic which around the uh, two and a half lakh three lakh rupees uh, per month besides you will get a lot of uh, perks you have the vehicle you have the house you have the medical facility if you see the security wise it is a good option to, to pursue for us and career is very good for initial days as you start your career you start a very commanding and good position and a lot of person is working under you when you go as a 24 25 year boy or girl in the office you find a lot 40s 50s uh, men are working under you it gives the pleasure to you it gives the insight to you and you put a lot of opportunity to work for people agar kisi ki interest social responsibility mein hai to shayad ye ek bahut acha option hai to choose for it सर कुछ बच्चे ये सवाल पूछ रहे हैं कि मैं मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर हूँ या मैं ऑलरेडी um, जॉब कर रहा हूँ मैनेजमेंट में आईटी सेक्टर में मैंने एमबीए किया हुआ है तो मैं अब प्रेपरेशन शुरू कर सकता हूँ कि नहीं yes. उनके लिए yes. आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे राइट नाउ द सिविल सर्विस इज बींग डोमिनेटेड बाई इंजीनियर इफ यू सी दोटल स्ट्रेंथ मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट आर इंजीनियर and the the very uh, the very interesting part is that most of engineers that take subject not the mechanical and civil engineering they take the geography anthropology history hindi literature tamil literature to agar aap engineer hai kahin kaam kar rahe hain zarur kar sakte lekin aap koi koi agar kaam kare wo job chhodna padega because for the civil services you work very hard you need to uh, study 10 12 hours a day usse kaam nahi ho payega ye तो अगर आप कहीं काम कर रहे हैं तो मुझे इस, अगर आप काम 10 से 5 का कर रहे हैं तो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज दिस एग्जाम बिकॉज सिलेबस इज क्वाइट बिग क्वाइट ह्यूज बहुत डिमांडिंग है बहुत एनालिसिस चाहिए होती है तो आपको टाइम इन्वेस्ट करना पड़ेगा सुमन फ्रॉम दियोघर एंड प्राजक्ता खाटके पाटिल आई होप यू गॉट योर आंसर्स प्राजक्ता का एक और सवाल है सर करियर ए सिविल सर्विसेज एंड करियर बी आईटी सेक्टर अगर बैलेंस रखना हो दोनों में शुरुआत के समय तो क्या करना है If if she is asking ki which career I should choose, so I say uh, it is very difficult to answer because the career is a passion. But right now, uh, majority people are choosing the civil services. After COVID, it has become more important. या कोविड टाइम में कई लोगों ने प्राइवेट सेक्टर जॉब लूज की है उसका लोगों का सिविल सर्विस इंटरेस्ट और आ रहा है अब आईटी सेक्टर और सिविल uh, सर्विसेज का मैच कैसे होगा आपको एक ही जॉब चूज कर दो जॉब कैसे चूज करोगे आप यू हैव टू वर्क ओनली वन जॉब Uh, our next question sir uh, i think uh, this may make things more clear for a few students if you could tell us about three skills that should be mastered by the candidate to get success while preparing for indian civil services very high level commitment a very good analytical power and efficient expression these three things you need Uh, i think students if you have any of these uh, in fact all of these then only start preparing your uh, for civil services and think of leaving your jobs otherwise i think you got your answer that you should not get into it there are more yes. than more than 10 lakhs candidate appear in the civil services 8% finally get the job so civil the upsc works on the theory of rejection rather than selection they want majority candidate to reject Because there is a problem with them, they can take only 800. So they should understand the competition is quite tough, and in out of 10, 10 lakhs, approximately 50, 60 thousand are very strong competitor. God also should be with you. Some luck factor also. Uh, so, sir, from your experience, sir, I will tell you that major challenges what are there in cracking UPSC, state PSC? आपने हिस्ट्री अगर पढ़ा भी है आपने पोलिटिकल साइंस पढ़ा भी है वो सिविल सभी बहुत छोटा सा यूज होता है सेकेंड आई माई है स्टैंडर्ड लाइन Civil services examination is current affairs oriented. You need to look into the newspaper in detail. It does not mean you go to the news. You go the philosophy behind the news. For example, मान लिया farm bill आया है, किसान bill आया है. तो किसान bill आपने काम करें हैं. किसान bill किस संविधान के प्रावधान से है? किसान bill कैसे काम कर रहा कर रहा है? कैसे किसान bill agriculture को इंपैक्ट कर रहा है? These things you need to know. You try to master the philosophy of the news. 
जैसे अफगानिस्तान का इशू है तो अफगानिस्तान में यूज फोर्सेस चले गए इस वेरी स्मॉल इशू एग्जाम नहीं आएगा उसका इम्पैक्ट क्या हुआ भारत पाकिस्तान पे इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा अफगानिस्तान के अंदर इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा इफ यू आर एबल टू कंट्रोल द करंट अफेयर लाइक आई एम सेंग हाफ बेटर यू हैव वन the philosophical part of the current affairs if i use the the exact word the philosophical part of the current affairs um sir is bare mein thoda aur bataye ki kya mistakes kar baithte hain bacche interviews mein ya uh, exam likhte samay sabse badi mistake hoti hai question ko na samajhna the upsc questions are such a way tricky aapne jo pucha gaya wo aapne answer nahi diya to marks nahi mil sakte To understand the question is very big challenge. वो ऐसा क्वेश्चन के बीच में ऐसा कोई वर्ड डाल देते हैं आप मिस कर जाते हो फिर क्या होता है जो ऑप्शन देते हैं एबीसीडी का आई एम टॉकिंग द अगर ऑप्शन एबीसीडी दिया दो ऑप्शन इतना क्लोज कर देते हैं आप उसको फर्क नहीं कर पाते रीजन भी यू आर नॉट ट्यून योर सेल्फ फॉर दी माई इम्फेसिस फॉर आवर मेल एक्सपायरेंट वर्क हार्ड फॉर यूर एनल पावर द मोमेंट यू आर एबल टू डेवलप इट योर बैटल इज वेरी मच इसी मोस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट फेल्स इन दिस जो एक अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी का पैटर्न है कि पांच सवाल इस साल आया है तो पांच सवाल इस साल आएगा जो पिछले साल आया इस साल नहीं आएगा तो यूनिवर्सिटी के एग्जाम प्रिडिक्टेबल होते हैं उसके क्वेश्चन प्रिडिक्टेबल होते हैं अगर यूनिवर्सिटी को आदमी टॉप करता है आप यही कह सकते हो इन इन सेट ऑफ कुछ क्वेश्चन की मास्टरी है पर फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज द स्काई इज लिमिट क्या पूछेंगे आपको पता नहीं चलता है जिस दिन प्री का एग्जाम होता है गूगल को आप उस दिन यूज करिए एक सवाल का आंसर नहीं आएगा वट डज इट मीन कि यूपीएससी शायद कोशिश भी कोशिश भी करती है कि ऐसे ही इनोवेटिव सवाल बनाया जाए कंट्रोल लोग लो, लो, न कर पाए तो जो अगर आप एक चीज बोले जो व्यक्ति को बहुत ही ज्यादा कोशिश करनी चाहिए Work on the analysis power. Sir, uh, can you also speak a bit in English? We have a few students yeah, who are asking sure, to speak sure, in sure, English. Sure. This answer, especially. The one thing which I want to emphasize in all my talks, every I go, you work on the analysis power. If you are able to master on that art, your journey is very smooth. If you are unable to inculcate that art, you cannot crack the examination system. This examination is full of analysis power, either prelims or mains or interview. Therefore, for all aspirants, I'm appealing to try to uh, try to start inculcating it. How you can develop the analysis power? More you read, more you think. You devote a, a, a time of your day only for thinking. Thirty minutes for just you think. Write. Uh, what is a writer? Writer is a person who thinks, not the person who writes. Same way, I, uh, I explain my my aspirants. You start. thinking more and more you start seeing more and more things thank you sir so uh, one very interesting question akshat desai is asking can we start preparation for upsc right from class 9 it's too early no need to start one one person came to me for the upsc preparation boy was 7 year old I have a lot of good experience in this aspect. There is no need for class, but you should be sincere to your study, because the UPSC has a lot syllabus of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you can start mastering geography, history, civics. You start controlling those portions. It will help you a lot. If you want to, uh, if you want to answer this way, that can I, can can I think for the civil service at the class nine? Yeah, you can think it. But you prepare for civil service later on. You try to control those parts which are your your, your syllabus. Keeping mind that by Kavi who will come. So you can can you start that way. But for the hardcore civil services, don't no need to start in the class nine. Up start करना चाहिए सर. When should one start? When you enter in the in the university. As you class pass class twelfth, you entering engineering college or university or matter. You start immediately that. Another question I will take from the audience. Utshab Kar is asking how to retain such a huge amount of information. In fact, uh, uh, maybe uh, if you could tell, many students are also asking how to prepare. The process that should be followed for preparation. If you could just touch upon that, sir. I have very interesting answer to this. That a person take births in one pregnancy, the nine months. For UPSC, you need the two 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 pregnancies, eighteen months. The two To prepare yourself for the civil service, you need 18 months time. 
After 18 months time, you are eligible to appear. It does not. You are eligible to appear in the examination. Then you have something substance. Before it is not possible. How to prepare? First, start with NCRTs, old NCRTs from class six to twelve. It is available in the uh, in the major uh, approximately thirty five hundred rupees. You order that thirty eight books set. You start from that, but that will not be sufficient. That is just starting part. Then you develop and develop more yourself. So first, I will recommend all the aspirants who are starting civil services. You devote one hour time in the newspaper and read these NCRTs. Then you go on the further higher books for which uh, we can uh, talk talk later. ंग majority of coaching doesn't teach anything if you go the rajin nagar mukherjee nagar most of the coaching has go we teach ncrt you can't become ias by 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 ncrt so if you ask me i advise you most of the coaching are useless but you need guidance you need mentor i have started mentorship ship program so i'm i'm just collecting more and more more of officers who can start mentoring so i got the six officers more officers are mentoring the three three four boys well in the years to come i create i want to create the 100 205 mentors mentoring helps a lot you can talk to them you can emotionally support them they, this exam gives so many blows in your, your life in the two three years of the preparation four years what the time you take so time so is too low at that time mentors help you If you are able to get mentor, it's very good. He will guide you. You can share with him your thought, your preparation, your ideas. Your mentor is fifteen, twenty years uh, older to you. He may understand things a different perspective. Application of more than one mind is always, always beneficial in every walk of the life. It is no exception. Thank you, sir. Very clear idea you have given to the students. So, abhi. Um... अगर कोई स्टूडेंट लगातार एग्जाम के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहा है और अपीयर भी हो रहा है सपोज बहुत बार हो लिया छह बार हो लिया बट क्रैक नहीं कर पा रहा है तो ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए क्या और करियर ऑप्शंस हैं जिनमें वो अपनी ये नॉलेज का बेस्ट यूज कर सकता है अल्टरनेट करियर ऑप्शन ले सकता है आई जस्ट गिव दिस क्वेश्चन इन इंग्लिश ऑल्सो फॉर दी ऑडियंस टू अंडरस्टैंड सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू आस्क सर दैट अ पर्सन हु been preparing for the civil services exam for a long time he's given all the attempts possible but he's not able to crack the exam what are the alternate career options where he can utilize his knowledge that he has gained all over all these years what are the alternate career options that you can suggest i say you have the plan a and plan b plan b is the state services you give the upsc with the respective states uh, if you are in the south india you apply the karnataka tamil nadu for north india boys girl i say you apply up mp bihar rajasthan so that you have some more seats for you yourself generally i found a serious candidate failing in the upsc able to get job in the state services because the state services course and syllabus is more or less like upsc so it is one of the advice i usually give my aspirants you try to concentrate these two state of examination if you work hard you will get the job and it's by experience more or less the serious aspirants get job the problem in the civil service is we don't get the serious aspirants we have registered almost 5000 student elahabad vishwavidyalay parivar ke hardly 20 i found them serious aspirants i do not know why people don't want to study so serious aspirants you are serious aspirants i'm sure that you will get the job so uh, another uh, related question related to alternate careers or uh, progressive career options you can say how does civil services in other countries work is it possible that you have prepared for uh, this country's i mean india's uh, civil services exam and you can utilize that knowledge for jobs in other countries other countries doesn't allow to appear to civil other if allow indian boys will crack very easily 
it is being said indian civil service is toughest in the world it is arguable uh, answer but it means said but as far as the citizenship is concerned is bar you cannot apply the outside india every country has the civil services without civil services you cannot run the nation you need something some structure if you see the american president when he enter his, his his office he always choose a lot of civil services you see the our, our prime minister in Narendra Modi, when he enters office, he has to use the, the civil servants. So you have the civil services structure in everywhere in every country. But if Indian boys and girls want to apply to foreign country, they can't apply. It's reserved for this only their own citizens. Same applies to India also. Thank you. So um, someone is asking, what subjects are the best to take in? 11th and 12th class if you want to appear for civil services exams ideal condition you do up to 12th science it has i have implemented this in myself also ideal condition you do science till 12th if you will do if not means there's not not an issue and then you think about other option because if you have the science in 11th 12th two three advantage you have one the science portion of civil services you can able to control there's one paper c set which is qualifying in the prelims examination which has a good amount of maths you are comfortable in that so ideally if you are able to uh, have a science in the 11th 12th it's, it's very good after that you can choose any subject as you wish if you are not able to handle it's not a problem but if we ideally what we want to if anybody comes to me he is able to do the science of also 11 12 hours also and go for the science so uh, uh, there's one uh, listener here savita gupta uh, she has a question to ask but i'll just just tweak that question for more relevance what out of the newspaper should be chosen to read yes what are the but, you know various sectors in the newspaper that uh, one should concentrate on to gain knowledge. Very, very good question. Editorial column. Once you see your syllabus, and first you start looking at your syllabus and question papers. Earlier as uh, question papers and syllabus. It will help, help you help you a lot. What do you need to see in the newspaper? One editorial column. You don't need every editorial column. Don't read the political news. There's no news at all. Though don't read the local news. You try to confine on the economics part, international relation, polity, not not the politics, constitution, how the government works, sports, environment, geography. Suppose there is a cyclone coming in India, Tatkare. You follow those news. You chase the news. Suppose the U.S. forces is withdrawn from Afghanistan. You chase this news. What developments are going on? I'm telling you, more than 60% is the current affairs. But you are not able to catch it. The reason being, you have not seen the current affairs the way I'm trying to explain you. I'm again repeating philosophy of the current affairs. You see what, suppose there is the cyclone in India. This time cyclone was from Arabian Sea, not from the Bay of Bengal. Why cyclone from, Arab from Arabian Sea? Why not the Bay of Bengal? Why more cyclone is Bay of, Bay of Bengal are here? What cy why cyclone diminishes when touch the sea coast? These are questions need to be generated in your mind. Basically, yeah. curiosity, honi chahiye, inquisitiveness. Honi chahiye. Yes. Kuch, kuch bache puch rahe ki current affairs kaise yaad karu, itna sara hai. But actually yaad nahi karna hai, samajna hai sara. Apni knowledge apply karni hai. I'm going to go in one, one more, more example. Right now, there's a lot talk on the climate change. Let's talk on the polluters play. Pay. The person who has spoiled the environment need to pay. If you see the data principle of state policy and fundamental duties in our constitution, it was imparted in 1976. What word is saying today? We are seeing 1976. Write this in the paper. If we are pioneer for the climate change, we are pioneer to care the climate. These are the good answers. As soon as you see the climate change issue is on the paper, you see, uh, we have, you open the, your constitution part, you'll find it. Just your, what is it? Just you have a curious, a curious boy and girl has a good future in this examination. Whether it's a who, why, whom, even if you were a child, you have to ask who, who, why. So who, who, why, you have to ask who, 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 always you, you attack on that. The, the boys and girls who are with me, I am trying to train every day uh, in, in this hospital. I take one session of Saturday only of this. 
in my classes the saturday class of the around 90 minutes only on the current affairs only i discuss this issue is pure hafte mein kya hua what happened this week how you approach towards the civil service examination via the newspaper thank you sir so um, uh, very very interesting and, and so many questions coming up so i really can't leave the audience uh, you know uh, without answering those uh, yashi sharma is asking how to choose the main subjects any criteria that should be followed first you see your interest second the syllabus for example history very big syllabus unless until you have a good interest in history don't choose it language very good option if you have interest in language any language hindi tamil bangla bodo marathi any language because the language has a very good syllabus and it is your mother tongue generally people use the child language which is mother tongue so first i will say you see your interest second try to avoid the lengthy options uh, of subjects third try to see language you can choose or not if you can choose you can choose it fourth your subject suppose you have done the law you have done engineering you see you are comfortable or not sometimes you are not suppose just I, i have done the bsc in law but i choose history and hindi there is a meaning i found more more comfortable here so for subject there is no hard and fast rule but four rule i always say select uh, you see the syllabus you see the interest you see the past year questions how they are coming and language i also always recommend you see if you are a literary interest but you see you have interest if you have you can choose it any language right now bodo language if you see bodo language i have seen the result in the bodo language the two people taken both selected to so be a bit in a, in innovative and as far as the as for the popular subjects are concerned anthropology geography sociology psychology these four subjects a lot of people are taking notice thank you sir thank you uh, so uh, uh... Adarsh Singh is asking if you could throw some light on how to keep the mind sane during these 18 months of preparation. It's very tough task. You inculcate do yoga also. I tell my aspirant do yoga also. Do meditation also. And try to believe in yourself. It is a very depressing moment. Very depressing. Because the time is short. Time is uh, time is running. You are running short of time. One result came. You failed in that result. but you have want to work on it you need to uh, work hard have a faith in yourself it is very difficult to continue yourself it is a challenge uh, i uh, understand because the right now chances are less uh, after reservation the 50% seats are for the general candidates 50% for the progressive candidates is also bothers them if you try it, if you ask me ki how to contain our mental status or mental strength i say you or Uh, think less on the result. Think more on the syllabus, less on the result. एक जो गीता का सिद्धांत है ना कि कर्म निवास अधिकार है इसके यू लीव डेस्टिनी क्या है देखो डेस्टिनी में जो होगा वो मिलेगा. You cannot change it. Just work hard. एक जो नियति है आपकी उसपे आप आप विश्वास हो. जरूर. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, very good question. Uh, पर अब जाने से पहले बात करते हैं आपके वेंचर मार्गदर्शन के बारे में आप फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट स्टूडेंट्स को इन एग्जाम्स के लिए प्रिपेयर करवा रहे हैं अभी तक की क्या अचीवमेंट्स रही और आगे के क्या प्लान्स हैं थोड़ा बताएं सब वी स्टार्टेड दिस इन 2019 फर्स्ट ईयर 2019 आई हैव डन द uh online uh, offline course but in july august 2019 i thought ki yeah, i want to reach more people then i started the online course right now my achievement is that my two candidates are giving interview in this year i'm hoping a good result for them they are good candidates and they are preparing hard i have a lot hopes in 2021 exam my further aim is to expand my darshan in various cities right now we have emr the delhi bhopal banaras lucknow jaipur patna very soon we are reaching there right now there is no need to come to city wherever you are you can join the course my uh, portal is open online is classes by virend rojha is a youtube channel anybody can subscribe it more than 800 uh, lectures are there your syllabus is more or less complete 
I am taking classes every day at 6 p.m. You can join my, my class. And I am against to any commercial coachings only because most of the coachings don't provide the quality material. If anybody has joined any uh, any uh, any commercial coaching, I am inviting you, uh, inviting him or her to see see my lecture and compare what they are providing, what they are providing. We are very conscious about the quality. I don't we don't allow a single teacher unless until he provides the quality education. Margarshan, I said my my dream. Yeah, my boys and girls have the top 10 position in the UPSC. I have a lot of dreams, a lot of things. I'm thinking to capture most of the cities. And in my Facebook page, I wanted to have more or more people. We want to work for the free of cost education with the quality. My motto is the quality education, not free of cost is the supplementary thing. Main thing, I we want to provide the quality education. Thank you, sir. थोड़े और क्वेश्चन ले लेते हैं सुमन कुमार पूछ रहे हैं विच बुक्स टू प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम अदर देन एन सी आर टी या आप पॉलिटी में पढ़े लक्ष्मीकांत हिस्ट्री में विपिन चंद्रा की किताब है इंडियन स्ट्रगल फॉर फ्रीडम वो पढ़े आप एंशियन इंडिया में कल्चर में पढ़े आप एल बाश्रम को पढ़े आप साइंस के लिए जो साइंस की किताब आती है एनसीईआरटी की आपको टेंथ टेंथ की बियॉन्ड पढ़ने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है एक इंडिया मैगजीन आती है उसको आप देखें इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन के लिए आप वर्ड फोकस को पढ़ें एक एक मैगजीन आती है डाउन टू अर्थ इज वेरी गुड फॉर द एनवायरमेंट योजना एंड कुरक्षेत न्यूज इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड द हिंदू बोथ आर वेरी गुड न्यूज पेपर इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू से समटाइम्स आई लाइक मोर दिन एक्सप्रेस एंड हिंदू and you devote at least 1 hour every day for the newspaper these are the very good books to begin with so another question from kale harika is there a way to keep your mind sane reading some books some other books i mean not syllabus books but any other books channel name is online is classes by virin roja you you just google my name on the uh, on the net you will get everything Yeah, the first question asking you how to uh, how to have calm mind. Yes, what books are recommended for having a calm mind? Other than the syllabus books, can can you suggest any other books? Yeah, other books. You can know. Uh, it is very that you are you are entering in a very different subject. I don't recommend my aspirants to read more books because you have a lot of books to read for study also. Otherwise, you can do uh, Paul Kettle. You know, you can do Robin Sharma. But I don't think it's required. Just you do. Okay, just sports. Do it. Ah, running. Very good. Ah, you do. You do a bit more of running. You do do the yoga. I do. I will not. I will not recommend that you read those books. Which are spiritual books. Is not required when you are getting. You are uh, got the selection. You do these things. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 while doing the job it is very difficult to do the upsc because upsc is a full time job i am sharing an information with you three boys of iit delhi came to lahabad to meet me they have discussed the same subject they again gone to discuss they resigned from the job and came to lahabad and they are preparing it so with a job it is not easy to do Impossible to push me. Nothing is impossible in this world. But with job, you have a lot constraint. Suppose you are working from ten to five. How you can read it? Okay, sir. Uh, another question. I think the last question I can take is uh, how to prepare for aptitude and reasoning. Aptitude and reasoning is not a very tough task. Just you have to qualify. Nothing is important more than, and it is not going to add in your uh, examination number. Just to prepare a bit, uh, mass up to the tenth level. A reasoning is very simple. That is not a challenge. I think about this examination. Thank you so much. Uh, so I think we've uh, come to an end of this session. A very, very insightful session, I would say. And a very, very big thank you to Mr. Virendra Oja uh, for sharing his opinion, his knowledge, and key insights today. we appreciate you sir for making time in your busy schedule to speak to our participants and giving them all this knowledge and we hope that mark darshan takes our indian students in civil services exams very far off and at very high positions very good luck to mark darshan also sir.
Thank you so much.